Hello friends. We continue our discussion on the matrices and today we are going to examine the concept of determinant which is a uniquely defined number associated with the square matrices. Welcome to the session. Determinants are a unique number or a scalar associated with only the square matrix. While discussing the types or the kinds of matrices, we saw that square matrices are those matrices having equal number of rows and columns. It can be 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4 and so on. So determinants are defined only for square matrix or square matrices. So, it is a uniquely defined number connected or associated only with square matrix. It is a number that represents the square matrix and it is defined only for square matrices and we can calculate determinant only for square matrices. Now, if we have the smallest number of square matrix maybe like for example we have given a, a square matrix then Maybe the smallest number it will be like a 1 by 1 matrix. If A is a 1 by 1 matrix, then determinant of A, we usually designated it like this. Determinant of A is the number itself. So for a 1 by 1 square matrix, there will be only one number in that matrix. That number itself is the determinant. So, for a 1 by 1 square matrix, that particular number itself is the determinant. But we usually do not come across this a case of only one element as an element, a one, a 1 by 1 matrix for that matter. So, we will proceed our analysis to incorporate a 2 by 2, 3 by 4 and so on the matrices. Now, now let us explore the case when we have a 2 by 2 matrix. For example, say let us say that our matrix is something like this, matrix A equals... Um, say 2, 6, 5, 1. As we know this is a 2 by 2 matrix, 2 rows and 2 columns, it is a square matrix. Now, how to calculate the determinant or how to compute the determinant of for a 2 by 2 square matrix? Then let me put like this, the determinant of A equals equals we will take the diagonal element and find the product of it that means determinant of a equals 2 into 5 let me put it in a bracket minus the product of of diagonal element 1 into 6 so the answer will be 10 minus 6 so the determinant of a is equal to 4 See, so for a 2 by 2 matrix, we also called the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix as a second order determinant. So for a 2 by 2 matrix, how to calculate, how to compute the determinant? We will first find the product of the diagonal element minus the product of the off diagonal element. So we have 2 minus 5, 2 into 5 minus 1 into 6, that means 10 minus 6 and we got 4. So, this is how to calculate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. And for 1 by 1 matrix, there is no need of any calculation. That particular number itself will be the determinant. Now, before proceeding our analysis to a 3 by 3 square matrix, one point should be remembered here. Now, for some reason, if the value of determinant is 0, for some reason, we will see how it can happen. For some reason, if the value of a particular determinant for a particular square matrix is zero, we call those matrices as singular matrix. See here, let me just change the uh, numbers a little bit here. Again, a 2 by 2 square matrix. See here, say 2, 4, say 3, 6. Let me calculate the determinant. Determinant of A equals, how to calculate? 2 into 6, 
that is the product of the diagonal element minus the product of the off diagonal elements 3 into 4 answer will be 12 minus 12 which is equal to 6 determinant of a is equal to 6 in that case when the value of determinant is equal to 0 the matrix is known as singular matrix so what is singular matrix singular matrix is a matrix for which the determinant is 0 if if the value of determinant is not equal to 0 then the matrix is known as non singular matrix can be any number apart from 0 if it is 0 then the matrix is known as singular matrix for all non zero numbers the matrix is known as the non singular matrix so if the value of the determinant is 0 the matrix will be known as the singular matrix and how the determinant can be zero you can see here e for a singular matrix there will be a relationship between any rows or columns of the matrix see here this is 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 3 is 6 there is a relationship between the row the first column as well as second column when there is a linear dependence between any row or column of a matrix then the determinant will be zero and that matrix is known as singular matrix so for singular matrix the determinant will be zero and if the determinant is not equal to zero we call those matrices as non singular matrices so that's how we calculate the second order determinant so we have a second order determinant as well now let us explore the case of a third order determinant now let us calculate how to find out how to find out a third order determinant or determinant for a 3 by 3 matrix or a third order square matrices let us say we have a square matrix like this a equals uh, say 3, 5, 7, then uh, 2, 1, 4, then uh, say 4, 2, 3. Let us say that I have, this is 7, right? So I have a third order matrix or third order or the square matrix of order 3. I have three rows and I have three columns. It's a three by three matrix. Now, how to calculate the determinant for a third order square matrices or a three by three matrix? Now, see here, let me write like this determinant of A equals. Take the first element. In my case, it's three. Take the first element, then mentally delete all the element in its row and column. So you mentally delete this column as well as this row, the remaining element 1, 4, 2, 3. A sub matrix will be formed. That is, we take the first element and we mentally delete the row and column of the uh, the row and column of the element lies are deleted. So we have a square sub matrix 1, 4, 2, 3. Then followed by a minus sign. Take the second element 5 into you mentally delete the column as well as row in which that particular element lies. So we have 2, 4, 4, 3 plus third element third element the seventh seven and i mentally delete the row the row as well as column so i have two one four two two one four two so we form three products right we have three products we initially we took the first element right we took the first element three we mentally delete the row and column in that particular MLI. So I have 1, 4, 2, 3. 1, 4, 2, 3. Followed by a minus sign. Do not forget to put the minus sign. Followed by a minus sign. Take the second element. Take the second element. You mentally delete the row and column in which that particular. So we have 2, 4, 4, 3. 2, 4, 4, 3. Plus the third element. We delete, mentally delete the column and row in which that particular element lies. So I have 2, 1, 4, 2. 
0.2142. So this is how we calculate or perhaps the first step in the calculation of a third order determinant. No, simply just to explain our analysis, we have determinant of A equals 3 into, we will do the determinant of a 2 by 2 order, 1 into 3 minus 2 into 4. So I have 1 into 3 minus 2 into 4. Let me put minus 5 into 5 into within bracket 2 into 3 diagonal minus off diagonal 2 into 3 minus 4 into 4. Again bracket plus 7 into 2 into 2 which is the diagonal elements minus 4 into 1 or 1 into 4 no problem just expand our analysis simplify the procedure determinant of a equals 3 minus 8 3 into 1 into 3 means 3 3 minus 8 means how minus 5 1 into 3 means 3, 2 into 4 means 8, 3 minus 3 minus 8 means minus 5. Minus 5 into 5 into 2 into 3 is 6. 6 minus 16. 4 into 4 is 16. Hmm? 6 minus 16 means minus 10. Plus 7 into 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 into 1. So 4 minus 4 is obviously 0. So we are not supposed to handle that particular aspect. So we have determinant of A equals. So final solution is here. 3 into minus 5 means minus 15. Minus 15. Minus 5 into minus 10 means plus 50. So equals 50 minus minus 15 plus 50 means my plus 35 will be our solution. So 35 is the value of the determinant. So the value of determinant is 35 for this 3 by 3 matrix. So this is how we calculate the value of determinant for a 1 by 1. So for a 1 by 1 matrix, that particular number itself is the determinant. For a 2 by 2 matrix, we in fact calculate or calculate the determinant by cross multiplying the elements. That means the diagonal, the product of the diagonal element minus the product of the off diagonal elements. And for a 3 by 3 matrix, it's essentially the summation. For a 3 by 3 matrix, you see, basically it's a sum of 3 products, like 1, 2, 3. There will be 3 products for a 3 by 3 matrix. For a 4 by 4 matrix, there will be 4 products like that. So, for a 3 by 3 matrix, we in fact calculate uh, the determinant like this. And for this particular matrix of 3, 5, 7, 2, 1, 4, 4, 2, 3, we got 35 as the value of determinant. As at very onset, as we have said, being the value is 35, since it's non-zero, this particular matrix is a non-singular matrix. Because determinant is equal to 35, there is no relationship between the rows or columns or linear dependence between the rows and columns of the matrix. And this is how we calculate the value of determinant. Hopefully in the next session, we will uh, examine some of the important properties associated with this particular concept of determinant. Thank you for your company. So until we meet next time, stay safe, happy learning.